Hey, peace and blessings. I'm Giovanna, and today I want to share with you a weekly reading. Um, what I usually do is I'll pull a card for the week just to see what the energy of the week is going to be like. So after I pulled it, I was like, well, why don't I make this like a series and share the energy of the week with you? So that's what I'm doing. Next time I do it, I'll do everything on camera so you can see the whole process. So I've already pulled the card. And the deck that I'm using is my um, Crystal Ally card deck. This deck is really special to me because it's the very first crystal card deck that I ever owned. Um, I've been in love with crystals and rocks and minerals and geology for like the longest time. So when I started learning about the metaphysical properties of crystals and rocks, like I just soaked it all up. Um, so this deck is really important to me and I actually didn't know that I still had it. I thought that I lost it um, over time. So this is the first time that um, I will be reusing this deck and I'm so excited to be working with it again. So like I said, I already pulled um, the card um, and the way that this works, like with the Crystal Ally cards, they help you with like knowledge of self and just pull in like the metaphysical properties of the different crystals um, and just brings that in. So it's a tool for healing, divination, and like self-exploration as well. So I pulled the card of the week, which is Topaz. And the message of this card is all about intention. Um, so you can see the card has like fire around the border, which means it comes from um, the element of fire. And there you can see like a body there and all the different planets and galaxies kind of running through it, which I think is really beautiful because everything is connected. So let's talk about the message of intention. Intent is so important and it's really, really powerful. Um, and that is the force for creation and manifestation. So you have to really use your intent properly because improper use or without discipline it creates chaos basically um, and you don't want to misuse your intent also so this card is telling us to pay attention to our intentions um, and it can also help reveal the intentions of others which is also really important um, the colors in the card yellow and orange um, and there's also a little bit of red but it resonates with our second and third chakra um, the second chakra or sacral chakra, that's all about like um, creativity, self-expression, sexuality, and the um, solar plexus chakra. I'm like, wait, where am I? <laughs> um, that's our third chakra, and that one is all about willpower. Um, so it's really interesting that these two come into play. Um, so yeah, those are our centers. The second and third chakras are our centers of motivation, passion, and will. So I'm going to read the message of the card to you, and then we'll talk more about intention, okay? So, like I said, the stone that this card relates to is topaz, particularly golden topaz. So when that card stone excuse me enters your readings you're being told to take a close look at the way that you're using your intention to create your reality because remember our thoughts are things so the things that we think about the things that we feel inside us are the things that we're going to attract or manifest um let's see so it's golden topaz carries the golden ray divine truth and its illumination will reveal to you where you need to place your intention in order to create the reality that you want so if you are not focusing on the things that you want, then that'll help you kind of figure out, okay, well, what do I need to focus on so that I can get the things that I want? Because when you focus on things that you don't want, you create more of that. So make sure you are focusing and using your intuition properly. So Golden Top has asked you to look where you may be misusing your intention and you might be doing that purposefully or you might be doing it um, unconsciously so maybe you're not aware of it so this would be a really great time to sit down and kind of figure out okay well what are my intentions do you even set an intention like at the start of the week like what or you know going into your day um, 
And that's one thing I have started doing this year, I want to say, is really being intentional about setting an intention for the day. <laughs> Because it does help, like, um, it's like, for me, it's like a focal point. It is like the destination, the address that I'm typing in to my GPS, like, okay, this is my intent for the day. So that tells me throughout the day, like, this is what I need to focus on. So having that intention, it helps me to direct my will, my passion, my creativity to manifest what it is that I set my intention on. And I hope this is not confusing you. <laughs> So I'm going to finish the card reading here. So it says, we can willfully misuse our intention by attempting to mislead others about our motives and wishes. When we do this, we shut out the divine light of creation, resulting in confused and unpleasant manifestations. Unconscious misuse of intention occurs when we have deep feelings of unworthiness and lack of self-love. Pause. Y'all know I am all about self-love because without that, you cannot have a healthy relationship. Um, and again, going back to intentions, when you're dealing with other people, like what's your purpose? What is your motive? Um, why are you in someone's life? Why are you doing a certain thing? Like, are you really being intentional about your life and about the things that you want for yourself? Or are you just out there just kind of really unsure, like you don't really have a destination or are you really out there just hurting people? So you all want to take that into consideration. Um, and I'm going to read this part again because it is so important. Unconscious misuse of intention occurs when we have deep feelings of unworthiness and a lack of self-love. When you don't love yourself, you're not going to focus on yourself. You're going to focus on the things about you that you don't like, the things about you that you wish you could change, and you're going to just be totally blind to all the other amazing things about yourself. So when you're not feeling good about you, then you project that onto other people. So maybe you're in friendships or relationships or people at work, and you're just like kind of icky, kind of yucky, nasty to people because you're unhappy with yourself. So if that is the case um, and you do have that feeling of unworthiness and a lack of self-love, you create experiences that prove the way you feel about yourself. So you're basically kind of abusing yourself in a way because you put yourself in situations that will support the view that you have of yourself rather than the ones that will support all the other amazing things about you. Like for instance, maybe you're clumsy, so you're gonna attract situations where you may trip or where you may drop something, something may break, so you're gonna attract more situations that will prove you're clumsy instead of situations that, and you'll look over the other situations because of course there are times when you aren't clumsy, like you're able to you know, walk in a straight line, you're able to balance things, but because you're so focused on the lack and the, I want to, don't want to say hatred, but it, in a sense it is hatred because if you don't love yourself, then the, you know, what else is there? So when you're focused on that negative, that's all you're going to see and you'll miss out on all the other opportunities, all the other things that you did great. So self-love is so, so, so important. Um, now let me go back and finish. <laughs> so... If you are in that place where either you're misusing your intention um, or you're feeling unworthy, you have a lack of self-love, then you can be healed by learning the true motivations behind your actions and the things that you're creating. When you become clear on your intent, your reality will reflect the golden ray of divine truth and your true joy will become manifest. So you can allow the energy of golden topaz to aid you in your self-discovery. And I think that is really, really beautiful. The thing about like self-love is that unless you can be honest with yourself and know what it is that you don't like about yourself or figure out why you hate yourself, you won't ever be able to progress, um, to move forward or to heal. So 
Because I've been in that position and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to become a coach so I could help other women. I went through a period of life where I was just depressed. I hated myself. I hated life. I hated everything. Like I just lived in a state of darkness for quite some time. And it wasn't until I started dissecting the thoughts in my mind and trying to understand where did they come from? Why do I think this? Is this even really true? that I was really able to change my life. And because I had to go through all of that alone, that made it like a million times harder. And that's the reason why I decided to become a spiritual love coach because I wanna be able to help other women who may be going through things, whether it's heartbreak or just confusion about life, I wanna be able to help them heal their hearts and live a life that they love so that you don't have to stumble through the wilderness for 40 years not knowing what to do. It's a lot easier to make a change in your life when you have someone who can support you and get you through to the other side. So there is an affirmation that goes along with our intention card and it is, I intend to manifest joy. And I think that's really beautiful, especially because this card does relate so much to um, how we feel about ourselves and the actions that we take and the things that we do and the things that we create, it's really important. So if you don't set an intention for yourself this week, you have one, joy, manifesting joy. Let that be your intention. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out and I hope that this has helped you in some way. Please leave your comments. Um, I'll be happy to talk more with you about crystal, crystal healing, or even just these cards or, you know, what intentions are. And um, I just think it's really beautiful. So focus on the intentions that you set for yourself and make sure that the people in your life, make sure that they also have clear intentions and pure intentions for you. Um, and if not, use the energy of, you know, the theme of intention to really step back and look and see because it will show. <sighs> That's so beautiful and I'm looking forward to this week. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you next Sunday with the next week's intention. Peace.